Actually, I have the pleasure to, to be briefed with, uh, from, through our colleagues in, in UPU about DOT POST um, a long time ago. And um, we were quite actually interested and um, actually excited also about the level of opportunities that uh, this uh, project and this platform can bring. Because, see, simply, I mean, the, from the day citizens and users and companies can uh, transact with the government and with each other securely, this will open up a new era of new services that were not yet possible till now. So you can imagine that, I mean, especially in developing countries where, you know, people that live in poor or underserved areas, if they can transact remotely with the government, so they don't need to travel, they don't, they are secure, they feel that uh, their uh, confident and private information will not be compromised. Um, they can, uh, they don't need to, you know, spend a lot of time, they don't need to queue for hours, etc. And all this is only possible if you have um, a platform whereby you can transact with the government securely. And DotPost is bringing potentially this platform, but also at a, a universal level, because, I mean, we all know that the, the post are, offices are everywhere even in, in, in the most isolated areas. And if these uh, services would reach all those people, we can really see the impact and the difference that the citizen would feel on their daily, daily life. And not only, you know, they hear about e-government or e-commerce, but they can also do it and not only hear about it.